All right, so let's put together our flower. As you can see, we have different types of petals we can use. The assembly method for each and every one is exactly the same though. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these little ones, move these aside, and I'm gonna start with this piece and I'm going to slip it over the top of the stem and I'm going to make sure that the bobbin side is actually facing upward and the thread side facing down because this is the side you're going to see if you look underneath the flower you're not going to be able to see the bobbin side afterwards. I put a slight little bit of glue. I'm going to put a really really small amount of hot glue for this because I don't want the glue to spill out everywhere and ruin my flower. I'm just going to slip this right over the top and stagger the two pieces making sure that's on there nice and tight. And again, just stagger my petals. Just trying not to place too much glue, which can be kind of difficult sometimes, but I'll just have to do the best we can. Right, and that is our flower. Easy as that. And we can see the thread side is facing the right way on all of this. So this is the version with slightly wider petals. And then we have the larger flower. And next, we're going to make this little miniature rose-like rose flower, which is going to be a bit more tedious. So this time, I'm going to place the thread side up and the bobbin side down. So my thread side is up, bobbin side down. And a small little bit of glue. Now, I'm going to place the thicker petals on first. And stagger them. And this time, the bobbin side is actually up on these petals, and the thread side is down. Make sure that's on there. Now I'm going to place the thinner petals. And again, stagger there direction here so that they fall neatly between each other. I'll let that dry for a moment to make sure it stays together and get rid of these little these little bits of glue while I'm at it. Alright, now the next part is going to be a little bit more tedious. So a little bit patient with it. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to line just a little bit on the edge of the petal here using very little because I do not want my glue to spill out everywhere 
and ruin my flower. And I'm going to hold the edges of this together, just like that, while I let that glue dry. It should dry pretty quickly. Try not to burn your fingers with this part because it is quite easy to do. All right, that should dry really quickly. And then I'm just going to do the same thing right here, try and use as little glue as I possibly can. Just hold it just like that. And now I'm going to do this one more time. Put a little bit of glue here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the other side as well. And fold this last petal into place and hold it just like that. And lastly, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right running down the center of this particular petal. Not too much though, because I do not want the glue to spill out everywhere. So I want to use just like half a drop or something like that. And then I'm going to press it like this. And again, since we're not using too much glue, this should dry pretty quickly. We shouldn't have to hold this for more than probably 10 or 15 seconds. And let's go ahead and Just do the other petals the exact same way. Just trying to make sure that my petal is pressed tightly against the, against the inner parts of the flower here to make sure it all stays together nice and well.
we just bend these little green guys down a little bit so that they look proper. And you can see why we did them thread side up because you can see the thread side up on these. And the bobbin side should be the side you're not looking at on all the petals. And we have this little miniature rose-like flower. Now, we also have this flower bud, which goes with these guys. This is made in exactly the same way as this rose, except it does not have these little green leaves underneath it. And instead just has the two layers. But other than that, it is made in exactly the same way. Then we have this guy, which all I've done is we've got two layers. I glued the first layer together together and I left the second one sprawled out and the only difference between these two is the thread side is pointing out on this one and the bobbin side is inside where you can't see it and on this one the bobbin side is pointing upward because that is the side you're looking at and lastly we have our leaves so that you can finish the plant. So all we're going to do here to finish our plant is we're going to take however many pieces we want to make. We could have three flowers, five, however many, or however many little flower buds, roses, whatever you want to do. And I'll just stick these guys together and stick this together. And remember, I'm going to bend this out after it's together so this is the thread side and the bobbin side is here and however many however many little knickknacks I want to put together I'm just gonna hold them together and I could put a dab of glue on the bottom here to hold them all together for if I want to stick this in a little pot after I'm done you can just glue it if you're not gonna see the glue or you could tie them together with something. I have this little plant I made earlier, and what I did was I took the same color thread as the leaves and the stems are made out of, and I just wrapped it a bunch of times to hold this together. So you can really, whatever you can think of to do with the parts provided, you can just go ahead and make it, and put them together, and make your own little unique plant in any way you see fit.